Howdy folks, we've got another kit for you today from Edward, limited edition, uh, eco version, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, F104J, um, which is known as the Starfighter by Lockheed, um, this is one of my birthday pre presents, which is today, um, let's take a look at what we get in the box. You are greeted with this side of the box, some of the colour callouts. I do like this blue one. You get a black one, grey one, silver, silver which is on the box art, grey, silver, camouflage one. Um, this is the Japanese version. Um, Item number 11130. Um, what you get inside the kit is plastic, or the kit itself is Hasegawa. Um, I believe they're the ones that do the best version of a F4, or F104, sorry, Starfighter. Um, you get Brezin for hearts, which is ejector seat, fellow etch seat belts, and can um, masks, canopy masks, eight marking options. And you get a uh, photo colour book for reference and history and stuff on the aircraft. Um, I'm a sucker for buying collect editions and stuff that comes with history books. Edward do quite a few of these. Um, ones with history books and stuff. So you agree with... Clear parts and some poly caps. <clears throat> One giant bag, which is the Hasegawa kit. You get your worksheet, the resin seat belts, and uh, jets of seat, sorry. The uh, coloured photo art book and reference stuff or whatever canopy mask nothing to say about that as usual nice photo etch coloured photo etch from Edward their stuff is pretty good you do get this photo etch flower not quite sure what this is for I think this is just just something nice and you get one giant worksheet of decals all the marking options Stencils. Um, you might consider painting them on. It all depends. I might or might not. <coughs> it depends if I'm be, be bothered to. Do. So let's move this and take. So we'll take a look at the instructions quickly. It's going to be a little bit of a lengthy video because you have got the uh, book to go through as well, which I'll do at the end. So you get this nice art on the front. Typical Edward, you get your sprue map and all the parts. Colour callouts is done by Mr. Hobby. Um, so if you don't use Mr. Hobby, you're going to have to match them up. You start with the cockpit tub, then you to seat in, which is the resin parts. The red sections is to remove and replace with photo etch. And then you're working on the engine section, part of the landing gear. Um, inside of the fuselage which is a couple of levers and stuff and then you're sandwiching it all together like a World War II plane and then top section is the front landing gear and the poly cap going in instrument panel which is fellow etch you've got cockpit detail and the glass going on, me, I'd probably do that towards the end if you're having it open. Your nose cone going on, your side, oh no, that's not kind of pain, sorry, that's the side air vents. You've got some small trim fitting around the edge of the, around the edge of the cockpit. Your two small wings going on, your tail wing. Unfortunately, all the flaps are uh, fixed, I think. I don't think you'll be able to have them poseable. You might be able to. 
I'm not 100 percent sure. I think there's an air brake. Having it open or closed. You are working on your landing gear and doors. Your, your main landing gear, which is on at the middle of the aircraft, left and right. Um, I think these are pylons for weapons, I'm not quite sure. Putting your landing gear in, landing gear doors, a rest of hook. I also imagine you can land on the aircraft carrier, I'm not quite sure. <coughs> Single jet exhaust nozzle. Um, extra fuel tanks, I believe these are. Working on your jet to seat. You get two types of cushion, but one one seat, but two 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 cushions. Putting your seat belts in <coughs> and harnesses. Working on your cockpit, a little bit of framing going around, which is fellow itch. Um, the front of the uh, cockpit area, which is the uh, gun sight. Extra fuel tanks and canopy going on, open or closed. <coughs> and then you're working on your canopy mask. Which comes in the kit and some stencil data for fuel tanks. And now you come on to one color call out. I like this one, which is a bluish color camouflage. I'm asking for a light gray bottom, a dark blue, a medium blue, and these segments at the back here are like a tan tan section. This one is a light grey and bluish grey camouflage. These are both 1982. This one's 1982, which is a black version, all black. This one here is natural metal finish on the outside, and you've got the blue and yellow centerpiece. This is 1979. 1980s, which is the blue one, which I like as well. This is um, bits of grey and bits of silver and orange fuel tanks. This is 1973. 1984, which is again, which is the uh, light grey and dark grey top. Camouflage one, 1979, which is one from the box art, which is natural metal finish with the white and red centerpiece. And then you have your stencil data for the aircraft. And on the back you've got advertisement for extra parts to make your kit a little bit more better. So resin exhaust, resin wheels and resin hard points for your weapons Let me take a look at the kit Get a nice, nice clear canopy. I've never built a Starfighter, um, and I was looking to buy a Starfighter, and I saw this pop up, so it was a win-win. Um, so I wanted this kit, um, and I got got it for my birthday, which is a, was a nice touch. Um, like I say, I wanted the Starfighter plus it comes with a book, which I like collecting books. So, it, like I say, it's a win-win. Otherwise I, wouldn't, otherwise, I wouldn't buy it. You get one giant bag of plastic. If anyone's built this kit from um, Asagawa in the past, please comment down below if it goes together pretty well and how, how things are. But I have heard reviews, it's one of the best out there, so hopefully it should be alright. 
Here's your main fuselage half sections. Nice detail, rivets and panels. We've got one half in those cone. Unfortunately, I'm a bit worried about being two halves. Or you're going to have a massive seam line going down the middle, and how difficult is it going to be taken care of without losing any of the detail? Or will it come in your advantage and you could use it as a panel line? Uh, this is the other side of the aircraft. You have one section of wings. Again, nice detail and rivets. Panel lines, you've got some of your hatches again, they've got detail and rivets all over. Here's the exhaust system, looks pretty good for me for plastic one. I might just leave it as it is, might not bother swapping it out, I'll just do it as, as it is out the kit. Internal detail on the landing gear again ejection pins on the other side so you, you don't lose any of the detail which is a nice touch um you've got some ejection pins on there I'm not, they might be ejection pins and might not be i don't know there's your cockpit tub you can either leave them on or use the fallow etch but being you've got the fallow etch in the kit you might as well use it If you're not going to use the uh, aftermarket stuff that comes with the kit, I don't see the point of buying the kit in the first place as well. Um, I might swap out the wheels though. The wheels are one piece, which is which I do like, but I do like my resin wheels, so I might swap them out. Uh, the hard points for your weapons. One of the uh, cases for the engine, I think that is. <coughs> we have... This sprue here, I'm going to take this off, which is the other side. I'm going to take this off as well. Uh, we've got internal detail. Uh, this is part of your ejector seat system, but you won't be using it because it's all being replaced with uh, resin. What it looks like oxygen bottles. It looks like most of these parts are being replaced anyway. We have this sprue here with fine detail parts. Landing gear legs, instrument panel, you have to sand flat and replace with fellow etch or you could dry brush it. But like I said before, if you're not going to use fellow etch, I wouldn't buy the kit in the first place. Not this one. I'll just go for the standard Hasegawa one. Uh, wings, flaps, again all the details all over nicely. Nicely done. It looks good so far. We have another exhaust system. Uh, looks like it's in the closed position. Inside front landing gear. The extra fuel tanks. So we've got your decal sheet. I'll take this out and have a look. So here's your decal sheet, nicely in colour. It's printed by Edward itself. Looks nice, nice in register. Everything seems to be good. Um, I was mentioning about spraying these circles on, but now I come to look at it, it's got writing over there, so I'm not going to be able to spray these on because I'm going to lose that detailed writing for some whatever that says. So um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to uh, use the decals unless you don't worry about the writing. But um, you've got decals for the instrument panel if you wish to do it that way as well. All the serial numbers for the airplanes, stencil data, 
you can only build one aircraft, but you've got enough stencils to do six or seven airplanes. So if you have another star fighter in your stash and you wish to do another Japanese one, you can also do that. Canopy mask. Nothing to say really about this, it's the usual laser cut stuff. You do get this um, photo etch flower. Doesn't say nothing in the instructions for what it is and what it's for, so I think it's just something extra. Um, oh, there's a little bit of clear for your instrument panel, but I'll be using my soul crystal clear for that. You get this nice flower. I don't know what it's actually for. You get your nice fellow etch fret. Nice fellow etch fret for um for your instrument panels and detail. Looks pretty good. Looks like the cockpit interior is some form of grey colour. You've got your resin parts. Come on, come out. You've got this dark piece which is your ejector rail. Ejector seat to sit on and it shoots up the rails to shoot out the airplane. Two types of cushion. And your jet to seat, nicely moulded. And there's the back of the jet to seat for the rails to sit into. Let's move this slightly. Right, we get a nice art book or photo gallery book, whatever you want to call it, reference. Um, again, it's got the nice artwork from the front. I presume that says Eco in Japan. I'm not quite sure. I don't, I don't read Japan. A good thing about this book is in English as well. So, here's some of the history about the aircraft. All history uh, about the symbol. The aircraft, a good, good thing about this, you can use this as how weathered and worn and beat up the aircraft are. They look pretty good for their age. Depends when these photo photos were taken as well. Again, there's a the blue one that I like, which is here. You've got the black one, the silver one from the box art. Thing that is, yeah, six fifty. No, it's six seven three. No, that's not the one from the box art. You've got a uh, worn out bluish grey one. There's the grey one. Another grey one. There's the black one. Grey grey. There's the camouflage one on the bottom here. Another camouflage one. This one looks like it's all grey. Grey ones. You got a uh, a lineup of them. Another uh, oops, sorry about that, guys. Another uh, grey one. It's very worn and beat up. All the uh, fuel tank on the side is worn and. Trash down the side, the spine of the uh, tail is all worn. It's all the paint's all faded. Which is this one here.
We've got silver one, two seater version, single seater, single, single, grey ones, grey camouflage one. Uh, there's more history and stuff. We've got another one of those colour call outs. Some more grey ones, 1985. There's the one from the box art. There's another blue one, and then like like this one up here. The paint is really worn and faded and totally trashed. And that's the back of the book. Again, we've got some nice photos on the back. Not quite sure what that giant thing is. But yeah, that's a, a natural metal finish one. So there you go, guys. There's another kit from Edward, limited edition, Eco, uh, which are known as the Starfire F104J. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.